Oh, well, morning everybody. It's not the way I'd normally start a video. It's half four in the morning and I've just had a phone call of Kevin, my brother, to say that mum's had a fall. So I'm, I'm going to drive up there now and see what's going on. <laughs> Oh, I hate this. Oh, Mummy? Oh. 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 How did you manage that? Oh. Are you okay? Yes. Hi, everybody. I'm just sat with Mum. She's all right, she's hurt her face and her shoulder. But it could be up to two hours until the ambulance gets here. But to cheer her up, she's just reading all your comments on the video. She's fallen off that chair onto the floor, bless her. I've told her not to do it again. Love you so much, Mum. I love you, darling. Are you feeling okay? Yes. Can you tell everybody? Yes, I'm, I'm okay. Thank you. Oh, my mummy. I'll keep you all updated anyway. Ambulance is here. Oh, goodness me. We're just turning round. Check I'm not parked in the wrong place. You can have a wiggle of that thing. It's not the easiest thing to no. do to get um, so hard without a hoist. To no. Drop your all your weight through your right bum cheek. So you kind of roll in that way. I can lift your leg as well if that helps. Can I lift this one? If you need me to help, just say. Yeah, okay. Yeah, roll come, back, back. come back down here. Well done, right. Mummy. Well done, Mummy. Okay. Right. So we need the other way now. Which one do you see to that? Should have got that blue sheet nearly there, I think. So you tell me when you need me to move this chair. Yeah, it'll be sort of when we stand, stand people up, really. Ah, uh, well, the nurses, the ambulance staff are so lovely. We've got Mum back in a chair. And she's going to have a big uh, shiner on her face. She's hit her face and her shoulder. But you feel okay, don't you, Mummy? Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Ambulance. Ambulance are just going. Mum says thank you, everybody. She reads all your comments. She loves it. But she's all right. So it's now quarter past six in the morning. I'm going to head off back to Susie. Um, yeah. Oh, my goodness me. I'm so tired. Um... That was great. She's back in a chair. She's she's feeling all right. I've told her if she gets any pain or anything, she needs to message me as soon as possible or call an ambulance. They asked her if she wanted to go into hospital and of course she said no. 
Her observations seem fine. They've checked all her meds. They've checked where she hurt herself. And it's now becoming light. You can just see the um, through the trees. So I'm going to head back to Susie. And then I've got to go to work. One of my friends has said she's going to try and fit me into wash my hair at the hair salon because quite frankly I haven't got the energy to do it so hopefully they can fit me in this morning just give me a wash and a blow dry so I can I don't have to deal with that um god I'm gonna be in bed early tonight I can tell you that but let's go and see if Susie's all right I've left mum okay Kev's with her and the ambulance staff seem happy that she can Stay at home. Uh, what a morning, eh? Change of plan. Instead of going back home to Susie and disturbing her, Jason and the dog, I've decided just to drive over to West Yorkshire and uh, crack on with the work. And then I can get that done and get back. Um, it's now about quarter past seven in the morning. I don't know what time it is. But I've come to service station so I'm going to head in there for a coffee and possibly something to eat. Um, and uh, get myself ready for the day, really. I haven't even brushed my teeth. So I might have a look for a toothbrush. <laughs> Jam in your porridge. get my hair washed and blow dried guys so I'm just stopping for a cheeky bit of dinner it's 12 o'clock so I'm at McDonald's
That's great, thank you so much. Have a good day. I literally rang the hairdresser's escape hair on Bali Rise in Strensel as I was driving through. I pulled over because it's Susie's hairdresser when she, and it was our hairdresser when we were kids. Um, the lovely Danielle goes to Susie now and cuts her hair at home. But I just rung up on the off chance if they could fit me in and make me feel a bit better about myself because I haven't washed my hair in days. Oh, and they've, they've done it for me literally within five minutes. And I feel like a princess. So yeah, Holly did it. The lovely Holly. So thank you so much for that. Just one less thing I have to worry about now for the next few days. Museum of the people that came to the door. You've been such a good girl with for your mum today. Yeah, and they said hello to the postman without any barkies or growlies. Oh, I love you. It was amazing. Thank you for looking after your mummy while I was looking after grandma. Yeah. Or nanny. Doesn't like grandma, does she? No. It has to be nanny. Oh, I've just got to Susie's and she's made me cry because she's bought me some beautiful things which are arriving tomorrow. Did you say? Yeah. Oh, I'll show you all tomorrow, maybe, or the next day. Might have a day off. Um, Mum's okay. Susie's all right. I'm all right. We're just, just emotional and tired. Yeah, we're just emotional and tired. Ready for bed. 
Yeah, we're going to get ready for bed. Half one in the afternoon and we're going to get in bed. Woohoo! Woo! Because it doesn't matter anymore. Oh, we're all getting in bed. So, yeah. Thanks, everybody, again. And we'll see you again soon. Pets. Beautiful girl.